and that has certainly been addressed. So no more money. Yeah. Question number eight, the Honourable Nikki Kay. Mr Speaker, my question is to the Associate Minister of Education. What recent discussions or meetings has he had to progress opportunities for young Māori in our education system? Uh -oh. Mr. Mr. Speaker, Davis. Uh, I met with officials as recently as yesterday to talk about our Māori Education Work Programme, which for the first time in nine years is focused on ensuring young Māori succeed as Māori. Mr Speaker, supplementary question to the Minister. Did he attend a meeting to help progress young Māori with the Minister of Education and representatives from Hapuna Marama Trust at Waitangi? No. Mr. P Mr Speaker, supplementary question to the Minister. When he said on the 13th of February that I have been working closely with Hapuna Marama Trust the CEO and the senior manager there, and we're very confident that together we'll make sure this transition happens very easily with very little fuss. Can he confirm that he's had several conversations with the Trust, including helping them out with fundraisers? Um, oh, Mr Speaker, I can confirm that I have had a conversation around the publicly available information that the Minister of Education proactively released. Mr Speaker, supplementary question. In his capacity as Associate Minister of Education, has he had any discussions or made any declarations with the Cabinet Office about potential perceived conflicts of interest? Uh, Mr Speaker, no, because there are no conflicts of interest. I have, I have no delegation, no ministerial responsibility for charter schools. As the local MP, I am responsible for ensuring that constituents in the Taitukero who are bombarded with misinformation from the opposition are provided publicly available information to dispel the mistruths. Mr Speaker, supplementary question to the Minister. If there is proof that in his discussions about young Māori that he either engaged in negotiations around partnership schools or provided perceived preferential treatment, will he resign as Minister? Yeah. Uh, Mr Speaker, the member needs to provide evidence, put up or shut up. Question number nine, Clayton Mitchell. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Regional Economic Development and